Easy, Glenn. Easy. Wait a minute. Let me tell him, Mr. John. What about this? No. What about this? What about this? No. What about this? 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 Just try to conjure a positive and beautiful image of you and Duke. You know what I mean? You can come in now. Thank you very much. God, thank you. It's a fast time. Please be seated. Mr. Gregory, please, please approach the bench, please. consideration and I might add soul searching I'm ready to pronounce sentence Not a thing. I am dying to hear something about Duke Rayford. I haven't heard. Oh, you do? I... Has Jake called to tell you anything about Duke? No, there's nothing in the news. Well, it doesn't look good for him. Apparently, the task force is applying a lot of pressure. The task force on organized crime presses for maximum sentence for Duke Rayford. I wonder how much that will affect the judge's decision. After careful consideration of the recommendation to pass the maximum seven-year sentence and to counselors' plea to suspend sentence entirely, I've reached my decision. Mr. Lavery, I hereby sentence you to four months in the state penitentiary. I've got a chemical waiting in the hall. I'm going to have to arrive at the state penitentiary. They can't protect him there. They can't. I know. Your Honor, I'd like to ask about the possibility of parole. Well, Mr. Lavery will be eligible for a hearing in six weeks. Whether parole is granted or not will depend on his behavior. Uh, excuse me, Your Honor, may I approach the bench? Uh, yes, come ahead, Mr. Scott. Uh, we all certainly appreciate the leniency that you've shown in the sentencing here. However, I feel it's important to point out that uh, Lavery's safety is in... Uh, is in great jeopardy by placing him in the same prison as the Sister Island inmates. Your Honor, it was Duke Lavery's testimony to put those men behind bars. Yes, well, I understand your concern, gentlemen. Oh. Unfortunately, an incident would have to occur before the, the courts would uh, consider a transfer of facilities. Your Honor, what we would like to do is uh, uh, prevent such an incident from happening. I agree, Your Honor. You agree, Mr. Lombardi? Yes, I do. Even though it was my responsibility to prosecute the defendant, I urge you to consider the consequences for all the inmates and staff at the prison if Mr. Lavery is not given special security. Well, I get your point, gentlemen, but uh, I can't make any more concessions. At least, not publicly. Hmm? I'll see you both in chambers. That's adjourned. All right. Mr. Scorpio, I'll speak to you in chambers. Sounds like the judges at least gonna listen to you. I'm gonna give it our best shot. 
I want to come with you. Maybe I can help, please. But didn't you hear him? He's under enough political pressure now. He doesn't need any more from the chief of police. Sean, what if he refuses? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Now, both Robert and Jake are pretty persuasive guys, right? Now, all we can do is hope that they convince the judge to give Duke special protection, that's all. They have to. Oh, no, 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 Now, this could have ended up a hell of a lot I know, I know that. Calm down, huh? We're coming to you live from the courthouse where Duke Lavery has just been sentenced to four months in the state penitentiary. Chief Devane, would you like to comment on the sentencing? Sorry, I can't comment. That was Chief Anna Devane, who was instrumental in breaking the organized crime ring here in Fort Charles and bringing her fiancé, Duke Lavery, to trial. The minimum sentence of four months was handed down after Lavery agreed to testify against the mob. It's exactly the kind of public thing we don't need to do. Exactly. Mom, all she's doing is a job. Well, besides, it's already public I know. 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 I Thank you, Your Honor. I wish I could do more, but you understand the circumstance. I'm very grateful, Your Honor. I wish you luck with your idea, Mr. Scorpio. I think I'll need it, but uh, thank you for the other five as well. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Lombardi, were you satisfied with Duke Lavery's sentence? Under the circumstances, I think it's a fair sentence. The people are satisfied. Thank you very much. What happened? Mr. Scorpio here convinced the judge. He did? I'm uh, going to accompany Duke to the prison. Have a chat to the warder. Maybe work out some special security precautions for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. We did real well, Anna. Yeah, I... Four months. And with any luck, we can keep him safe. We'll be out of there in six weeks. I appreciate it. Sure. Everything you've done. You do. I'll see you later. Yeah. Where are they taking him? Later today. I guess he'll be in custody till then, will he? Yeah. Well, I did get uh, one more little favor off the judge. A few moments alone together. Okay, moments of privacy, chaps. Thank you, Willie. Well, I, I guess this is it for a while. This is not such a long time. It's an eternity. And in six weeks, I'll have the, the chance of parole. Yeah. You look after yourself till then, okay? Of course I will. I'll do my best. Will you promise me something? Anything. You will? Yes. I don't want you to think about the past. I don't want you to even think about the present. Concentrate on the future. When I get paroled, you and I are going to get married. You will get paroled. Of course I'll get paroled. And we'll get married. We'll take Robin and we'll go to Scotland. Yeah. I love the house you bought us. You're going to love it. Well, but I'll go with you to the prison. He's going to talk to the warden and make sure that you're safe. I'm going to be okay. Don't worry about me. I want you to only think about yourself and about Robert. Okay? It will be fine. Okay. You know, I hope Robert appreciates that I really appreciate everything he's done for me. Oh, he does. He does. He knows that he just wants Robin and me to be happy and that you're the only man that can do that. I promise you. 
I'm never going to hurt either of you again. Oh, I can't bear this. Well, come here. I'm so frightened for you in prison. Well, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be fine. Don't, don't get upset. No. It could have been worse. It could have been forever. Shh. I'm going to be all right. I knew if Robert can convince the warden to protect you, you'd be all right then. No. If anyone can convince the warden, you know Robert can. I know he can. Now, don't be so modest, Mr. Scorpio. The whole town knows the important part that you played in breaking the mob connection here in Port Charles. Uh, I appreciate the accolades, Tiffany, but um, my role was fairly unimportant. What about Duke Lavery? Won't he be in danger of retribution from the mob? I'm uh, sure the prison officials are doing everything possible to ensure his safety. What are your plans now that the case has been solved? Do you have any other cases to crack that you might know?